problem number one from projection of plane sheet so in the first problem uh, the a b c d e is a regular pentagon plate so in any projection of plane you have to identify first of all shape shape of your plane so in this case the plane is pentagon next step is you have to find out where where and how where is your shape so you, in uh, in this case it is uh, it has its corner a on the hp that means it is resting on hp so where it is it is on hp how it is resting resting with its corner so this three information you need to find out the first uh, uh, um, position so let's start with the first position so for that uh, you have to draw a uh, xy line so this is your xy line now you have to construct a pentagon which is resting on hp so if plane is resting on hp so which view gives you the true shape a top view gives you the true shape so you have to draw top view first so top view is over here and you have to draw the pentagon so and it is resting with its corner so if it is resting with its corner then corner should have be a starting point of your pentagon so we have to start our uh, drawing like it is resting um, it is a 40 mm side so you have to draw a 40 mm line first then you have to left some space uh, for the rest of the pentagon should be okay and then the angle is 108 degree or 72 degree so if you are calculating from outside it is 72 but if you are considering inside it is 108 degree so 108 degree and here from it is a 4 mm 4 centimeter again you have to find out the angle from this point so this is your 108 and again it's a 40 and to find out the corner points you are going to use this one so measure the distance of 40 mm like this and put pointer over here make an arc and find out the intersecting point so this gives you the final pentagon position So this is your first top view of your pentagon. Now if this plane is resting with its side that means this side then you have to flip this pentagon. So side must be over here. So whatever the uh, corner or a side wherever it's resting you have to draw it first. So in this case it is resting with its corner so you have to draw corner first and then uh, you have to draw a side. So this is your pentagon, uh, this is the top view of your pentagon. So top view must be written in a small letters A, B, C, D and E. You need to extend this XY line up to here. Now draw the projections, draw the projections of pentagon to draw front view. Now remember any uh, what uh, the front view of any plane is a line not a front view one view one view is a true shape and second view is a straight line so you have to draw a very thin line to draw the projections very thin line okay 
so it is resting on hp so you have to draw a front view on the xy line don't draw above the xy line or left some space to draw the front view so it's not the right way to draw so this is the right way here you have to draw a front view now this point is a dash this point is a combination of two points that is b dash and e dash and this is c dash and d dash so here first position of my uh, pentagonal plate is complete now you have to move to second position so to find out the second position read the second sentence the plate is inclined to hp such that the plan length this is plan length of edges a b and a e is 35 mm now if you move any plane in any direction one of the side will be the shorter so this length right now it's a 40 mm but when you rotate it in somehow so if it is uh, uh, inclined with the hp then your two edges will be shorter but uh, the shorten length is given to you but rest of the pentagon is not given to you so for that reason you have to just draw the projections from the corners so this is the step draw the corner thin line very thin line draw the projections from each and every corner of your pentagon now let's consider this point is your point a this point is your a point now the one side you have to find out a e and a b a e and a b which is given to you as a 35 mm so measure the distance of 35 mm like this so this is a 35 mm distance so 35 mm put your pointer on a make an arc on the line which is passing from e projection line e and a and b e and b so this is the line uh, in on this line it's a b and on this line it's a e distance is 35 mm i have put pointer on a and make an arc on both the side now join them so these points are b and e so if you measure it it will 35 mm now you don't know the rest of the pentagon the size and uh, the length of it so for that you have to use this method project this over here now draw the projection line passing from b and e and a now measure this distance because it's a front view so you have to draw front view because this point is a dash this point is a dash and you have to find out this line so put pointer on a dash this the, this is the distance put pointer on a dash and mark over here so join these two lines join these points and extend this line extend this line and now measure this distance throughout this distance and put pointer over here and make an arc over here so this point is b dash e dash this point is c dash d dash so this front view is transfer at this angle by using this thing now you have to draw the projection and erase the rest of the line now draw the projections horizontally from c dash to s so now by intersecting you have to find out the intersecting points so this point is your d and this point is your c because this is c dash d dash line and this d and this is c now join these two points so 
सो दिस इज नथिंग बट अ टॉप व्यू ऑफ अ पेंटागॉन वाइल इट इज इंक्लाइन विथ एच पी एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द इंक्लिनेशन विथ एच पी सो यू जस्ट मेजर दिस एंगल सो दिस एंगल इज नियर टू फिफ्टी फाइव डिग्री सो लेट से इट्स अ फिफ्टी फाइव डिग्री सो दिस एंगल यू गॉट इज फिफ्टी फाइव डिग्री दिस इज द सेकेंड पोजिशन नाउ फॉर द थर्ड पोजिशन दे आज टू जस्ट रीड द सेकेंड थर्ड लाइन द साइड सी डी दिस साइड सी डी इज पैरल टू बोथ द रेफरेंस प्लेन्स राइट नाउ इट इज परपेंडिकुलर टू एक्स वाई लाइन और वी कैन से इट इज पैरल टू एच पी बट इट इज परपेंडिकुलर टू वी पी सो यू हैव टू मेक दिस लाइन पैरल टू वी पी एज वेल सो नाउ लेट्स कंसिडर दिस एक्स वाई लाइन एज अ वी पी सो यू हैव टू ट्रांसफर यू हैव टू रोटेट दिस सी डी लाइन इन सच वे दैट इट विल बिकम अ पैरल टू एच पी एंड वी पी सो यू हैव टू ट्रांसफर द होल पेंटागोन ओवर हियर but it is parallel to hp so for that you have to construct this rectangle over here you have to measure this rectangle to transfer this pentagon here now let's measure it this distance is from this point to this point this point to this point is 6.4 so you have to draw a line no need to draw it uh, on uh, on this line you can draw it anywhere so this point this distance is must be so this line we have constructed this point now you have to construct this two lines the distance must be same because it's a rectangle which is 3.6 so draw vertical line draw vertical line for 3.6 distance complete your rectangle like this so we have constructed this rectangle over here because we need to transfer this whole top view over here so find out uh, now you have to draw this three lines 1 2 and 3 so for that we are going to use uh, this instrument just measure this distance and put it over here at any of the line just mark this distance over here like this so this distance is same now from this we have to mark our point this one this distance so mark this distance is transfer at this point like this from d point the center point is this so this distance must be transfer over here and from this point to c point is like this and transfer it so draw these three lines 1 2 and 3 over here vertically you can uh, different method is there also you can uh, measure whole pentagon side and angle and then you can transfer whole pentagon over here you you can measure this angle also you measure this angle measure this line and draw whole pentagon over here with the same dimensions now you just have to draw only one line which is this this distance 
which is on the top uh, part so measure it from the top side so this is your point and draw a line like this so we have draw this rectangle over here and find out the intersecting point so this point is my a point you can see i just transfer this this point is c and d this line <coughs> and these points are b and e so if you transfer whole rectangle over here now joint all of them to construct a pentagon you can use this method in all the uh, planes <coughs> to check whether your uh, answer is right or wrong just uh, draw just measure this distance this two distance must be 35 mm now this line cd line the side cd must be parallel to both the reference plane so you can see this cd is now parallel to hp as well as vp now you have to draw a front view in this position so for that just draw the projections from each and every corner of uh, the pentagon like this and transfer or the uh, take a projections of second position like this and find out the intersecting point so right now we need to find a point so this point is a point because it's a projection line is intersecting at this point so this is a point so b point is over here so this point is b point c point is here so this is intersecting point of c d and e now joint all of them so this is the front view of your final and last position this is the actual position of your plane in front view and top view you have to write down over here you have to write initial position intermediate position and final position this is the right way to draw it so now i'll just uh, uh, gives you some of the important tricks the first one is uh, this space must be as much as less because uh, this and this distance must be equal uh, if you uh, you cannot join your front uh, sorry top view with the xy line and the third one is you have to if the plane is resting on hp that means your plane must be touched with the xy line and last one is you all the projection line must be drawn with a very thin line to show it very properly write down these th three things below the plane uh, the positions and in capital letters uh, so these are the uh, this is the first problem of projection of plane <coughs>